what is H5P and what does it look like in clinical education? I just wanted to show you around a couple of things that I've been up to. So we're in h5p.com now where I've created an account. You can manage your content. Here's some of the content that I've made. There's lots of different types of activities. I'm going to show you a film. Here's a film. So I made this film. I load it up into H5P. And then I can put these little things here in along the way. Right, choose the correct statement. State pharmacists should not calculate the amount of adrenaline they can. Great, I got that question right. And then the film continues. Oh. I'll retry that one. You can have other types of things as well, like more information. Okay, so that's one. I can go in there and I can edit it and just simply choose to add in some more information. So I would add an interaction, um, say right there I'm going to add an interaction and I want to add some just simple text where I'm going to say I want a button that comes up saying more information and then here I write this is where I offer the students more information about I don't know something um, how to gather information for an ISBA. Cool. And then it's going to go on the click. Great. Done. And then if I I can move that around. So maybe I'll put more information here and you can see a little dot has turned up just there offering that more information. I'm actually not going to keep that one there so it's as easy as remove. Okay. And I'm not going to save that. Leave. If you want to see some other things I've done, um, a drag, a drop and drag activity. So this is one where the, the students have just simply got to fill in the information. Check. Oh, I got. A whole bunch of it wrong just show me the solution this is what it looks like on our LMS which is our canvas this is what the student sees they see the video they press play and here we've got lots of inf extra information for them to learn about what's going on in the video they're watching you can have as many buttons as you want. You don't have to upload it through YouTube. You can just load it up through Vimeo or you don't have to load it up anywhere. You can just pop your own film on. Oops. Cool. So that's the kind of stuff we're talking about with H5P. This is an example of a Padlet and how you can use this in clinical education. So for example, this is where I would tend to put um, the learning outcomes or the information that the students need to read first over on this side of the screen and then clinical education or whatever the components are. This could be a module, a learning module here and you can make the Padlet go down as much as you want or across as far as you like. There's a learning activity that they need to do and you can put some instructions here saying you need to watch this and then you'll be able to complete the quiz. Here is where you might want to embed 
NH5P quiz or um, any other kind of interactive uh, Kahoot or quiz kind of a thing. You can, the sky's the limits with this, you can add all kinds of things to a Padlet. You can move them around easily, it's instantly saved, you can have a thousand or more people accessing the Padlet at the same time. You can make it so that they can, um, see it takes you straight there, you can make it so that they can add comments, you can change the colour of the post, you can do all kinds of fun stuff. I, do, I am actually, now I'm having fun with colour. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay.